What's up guys, Nate and Sutton back with another video and today we are talking about things that girls do that are unintentionally attractive. Because who doesn't want to know that? Who doesn't want to be unintentionally attractive? That's the most kind, that's the most kind of attractiveness there is. These are secret things. Secrets of the trade <laughs> that we did to get one another. And now we're going to help you do to get your one another. Yeah, well, let's just put the disclaimer out that we always have to do, that oh, we yeah. are not claiming to be every person. Everyone finds different things attractive. These are our opinions. These are the things that we think that other people do that are unintentionally attractive. And for your entertainment purposes, scroll down, look at the comments <laughs> of all the people, even after this disclaimer, saying, I don't find that attractive. You can't speak for all of us. But speaking of the comment section, you guys put what you think is unintentionally attractive in the comments, and then we can all share our thoughts. All right, so here we go. The first thing that I ladies. would say for the ladies that probably the number one attractive quality that you might not think is attractive, but I and the right kind of men will find attractive is worshiping God, it's having good. a relationship with God. Really, I just always thought that, like anytime I see Sutton, because I don't speak in past tense about girls that I used to find attractive, it's all about Sutton now. <laughs> anytime I find- You found other girls attractive? Maybe one. <laughs> <laughs> anytime I see Sutton or Saul Sutton, like worshiping or reading her Bible or seeking out God, it was just like, man, that's what I'm talking about. Come on over. Also, just so you guys know, we don't know what each other wrote down. It's like, I don't know his things. He doesn't know what I wrote. Yeah. So we can like respond to each other. Number two might come as a surprise to you, but I really think it's a good quality. And that is disagreeing. Not like disagreeing for the sake of disagreeing, but disagreeing slash challenging slash having your own thoughts. Because yeah, that's surprising. Um, it's it's so common where everyone's like so nice and they don't want to step on anyone's toes, especially on the early dating phase. But this is something that Sutton did that I thought was really attractive. It's like I would say something and she might question it, and I'm like, well, "What did you say? <laughs> You're not agreeing with everything that I'm saying?" Or like you know, just challenging uh, different types of thoughts and beliefs and like like I'm saying I'm not saying challenging for the sake of challenging but challenging because maybe you don't think exactly how the other person thinks and to be confident enough to voice that opinion that's the first time hearing of this first of all I didn't even know that I did that but now that I'm thinking back on it I feel like I did but you still do that you do that to like everybody like I feel like I'll, we'll be talking to anybody and then like they'll just say something and something like kind of questions it I'm like your ears perk up it's like <laughs> <laughs> Gotta make sure they know what they're talking about. Yeah, it keeps you on your toes, keeps you <laughs> engaged, and uh, yeah, who doesn't like? Because I feel like if you have someone that's challenging you, it means you're gonna have someone that's gonna be helping you grow. If you're around people who just agree with everything you say all the time, then they're not really helping you grow necessarily. Number three, I said this one to Sutton last night, and she was like, "What are you talking about?" Yeah, but, with him saying this one is what made me say like, "I was like, don't tell me anymore," because my reaction to this was like so shocked. But I was like, maybe we should save the reactions for when you say them on the video. And this one is crying. Isn't explain. that weird? <laughs> well, let me explain. So, once again, not crying because, like, I would like to see you hurt or anything like that. But just the fact that you're, like, showing your emotions, you're being vulnerable. It just makes me want to, you know, love you. But I just, I was telling him last night that that's really surprising to me because I feel like He's not the most like comforting personality. Like if I ever have cried in front of him, he's not like, oh, it's okay. Or like anything. He, like he'll talk to me about it, but he's not like, that's I don't not, know. That's not how it affects me though. It just makes me think, hmm, I'm gonna get her later. <laughs> that's so weird. <laughs> I'm just uh, so that one, I think, and I, I think most men would find that attractive. So basically the back story of that one is I think just the idea of not being so afraid of looking vulnerable or putting on a hard shell, like really, you know, show your vulnerability that you're just a weak little girl that needs help. <laughs> no, you'll never hear the end of it now. Yeah, my family actually, funny thing about crying, used to call me the ice queen. Did you know that? Yeah. My family called me that because yeah. I never really cried about things, but I also like 
the things I guess that they thought would upset me didn't upset me maybe I don't know yeah so don't be the ice queen but now I do now I cry I feel like about a lot of things I think it's from having kids probably <laughs> all right next one dressing modestly so it's this a good one this is one that I think is very important for a lot of ladies to know I think when girls dress provocatively it might grab men's eyes you know it, i mean it grabs anyone's eyes like you just it like kind of just makes you I look. look at that <laughs> yeah it kind of just makes you look like it's just the way it is but that doesn't necessarily mean they're more attractive dressing that way i think what is so attractive is when you see a beautiful woman aka sutton all covered up yeah all covered up and you just like <laughs> Man, I know there's something beautiful underneath those clothes, but I don't know what it is. <laughs> but you should be thinking about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you should be thinking about that. I feel like when girls dress really provocatively, you may see them be like, that's the girl I want to hang out with tonight. But when you see a girl dress modestly, you're like, that's the girl that I want to marry. Yeah. Exactly. All right, and the last one for me is being healthy. Caring about your body, your health, eating healthy, working out. And He's trying to tell me something here. It's Subliminal messages. <laughs> I was saying of all these things, this is probably the thing that I'm not the best at. Yeah, you could definitely work on your eating, but you've been working out since you met me. That's one of the things I told her up front. I'm like, if you want this to work out. <laughs> you got to work out. Yeah, you got to work out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you combine all those things together, the crying, the challenging, the dressing modestly, the eating healthy, the worshiping, and you will be on your way to attracting that godly man of yours so fast you won't know what hits you. <laughs> All right, well, those are mine. Short and sweet. I feel really good about those, actually. He came up with those really fast, so yeah, you probably, must feel really good about them. Probably about five minutes. They came to you really fast. All right, guys, so that was Nate and Sutton sowing seeds of truth, love, and inspiration one view at a time. And those were the things that girls do that are unintentionally attractive.